glad the wind picked up just as I stepped up here. I would have gladly borrowed a hat, but they all have the wrong states on them. So uh, <laughs> thank y'all for coming out today. Uh, obviously, I think by the strong showing and the sheer number of governors that are stepping up across the country, it's very clear that this is not just a fight that Texas is having. This is a fight that all of us have to engage in. Put very simply, Joe Biden has completely failed at one of his most basic and important duties as the president. He has failed to protect our borders and protect our people. Not only has he failed at his job, but he's been dishonest about it. He's trying to pass off the idea that somehow he has no ability to do anything to fix it. And Congress has to step up when every single person knows he could make changes and steps right now today to help secure our border and protect our country. Yet he simply refuses to do so. And because of his failures, Governor Abbott is having to step up. Governors from across the country are having to step up and do the job of the federal government because they simply won't. I'm proud of the fact that we have strong leaders like those of us that are standing next to and behind me. Because of them, our country will be safer, our people will be better protected, and we don't stand with them in football, but I can tell you that Arkansas is most definitely standing with the state of Texas when it comes to protecting our border. There is no fight right now that is more important for us to engage in. It's why we're spending our Sunday afternoons here, because we have to, because it is absolutely vital to the long-term safety and security of our country. I'm proud of Governor Abbott's leadership, and I'm proud that I get to stand with each of these incredible people as we pledge to support Texas in whatever we can do to help. Arkansas sent National Guard troops here last year, and I can commit today that we'll continue to do that over the course of this year as much as we can and as much as is needed until the federal government and Joe Biden step up and do their jobs. We're here and we're thankful for your leadership, Governor. With that, I'm gonna turn it over to my good friend, Governor of Montana, Greg Gianforte. Thank you.